Two days after the shooting on Parliament Hill, the National War Memorial in Ottawa has become a scene of national outpouring. People have gathered at the memorial, laying flowers and paying respects to Corporal Nathan Cirillo, the reservist who was shot and killed while on guard just 48 hours ago. As we end a historic week on Parliament Hill, we want to bring you an interview that reveals unprecedented compassion. It's about those moments after Corporal Nathan Cirillo was shot at the National War Memorial. In all the mayhem, five strangers ran to help him, and one of them was Barbara Winters. In an emotional interview on CBC Radio's As It Happens, she tells Carol off about what people did and what they said to him in his final moments of life. When I got there, there was a nurse there already, and the corporal who was with the two honor guards at the time. The nurse was, had her, her hand and was compressing one wound, and the corporal was compressing the other wound. There was a gentleman at his feet and another gentleman from the military at his head. And so I just slipped in between them, you know, where there was space. And but you spoke to him too, didn't I you? I did. I actually tried to speak to him the entire time. What did you say to him? Um, uh, sorry. I told him he was... Um, I told him he was loved and that he was a brave man, and that he was a good man. And so I said, just think of what you were doing when this happened. Just think you were standing at the cenotaph. You were honoring others. Just think of how proud that will make your family. I said, your parents are so proud of you, and your family must love you so much. And I looked for a wedding ring. I couldn't see one. I, I had gloves on. I couldn't tell, so I didn't want to say your wife. So I just kept saying, your family loves you. Your family loves you. Your military family loves you. I said, look at these people. We're all here helping you. We're all trying to do what we can for you. We all love you. I said, the military loves you. I said, listen, there's a colonel here helping you. And... um I just repeated, repeated, repeated that he was a brave man and that he was a good man and that he was loved and that he was respected and that his military comrades loved him and that his family loved him. <laughs>